Today is stadium tour day. One of my favorite types of videos to film is a good stadium tour. Yeah, the Sporting CP, Sporting Club of de Portugal Stadium is just down there. It's not Sporting Lisbon, it's Sporting Club of de Portugal. Uh, the people in the comments have made that very clear. But everywhere I've been in Lisbon so far, I've done a lot of uh, investigating. I've not shown this on the vlogs yet. I keep seeing these posters for the Portuguese Communist Party. And look at that, the old hammer and sickle. I'm not 100% sure what this translates to. Hang on, let me just, uh, let me just check. Okay, and contigo todos os dias means uh, with you every day. So yeah, if you want to join the uh, Portuguese Communist Party, then all you've got to do is look around the city of Lisbon and you will see all of these posters. I've seen them everywhere. Honestly, there's a worrying trend here in Lisbon um, in terms of the Portuguese Communist Party. But yeah, about to leave the communist sign behind. That was one of the things I was least expecting to see when I came to Portugal. But an absolutely beautiful day here. Please do remember to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Let's head on down to one of my favorite stadiums in Portugal. Ticket purchase, 14 euros for tour and museum. I'd say that the tours, hang on, oh, I'd say that all like the tours and the museums and stuff in Portugal are actually really well priced. That Benfica one the other day was so good. And uh, yeah, this is only 14 euros today for the tour and the museum. But a little bit of background on sporting as a club before we go in there, but I'm sure we'll, we'll hear a lot about it anyway. 115 years old, they are founded in 1906 and they are Portugal's third most successful team. They're also known, or they, they are known as, their name is Sporting Club de Portugal. Um, people, the fans like to call them Sporting, but not Sporting Lisbon. I'm sorry, that's just what we call them in... Uh, Oh look, the Pride of Hampshire, there's a Southampton sticker there. Yeah, Sporting Lisbon <clears throat> is just what we call them in, uh, in England and stuff, but um, yeah, I know that they are Sporting CP and that the actual fans of the club don't call them Sporting Lisbon. Look, Sporting Club Portugal, that's what that stands for. They are the current champions of Portugal. Their manager, Ruben Amarim, uh, was bought from Braga for about 10 million euros, about 12 million pounds, or 12 million euros, 10 million pounds. The third most expensive manager transfer in history behind Brendan Rodgers from Celtic to Leicester and Andre Villas Boas from uh, Porto to Chelsea. The capacity of this stadium is around 50,000 people. I've seen two games here. Um, the one that I was at yesterday had a, a attendance of 25,000 against a, like a lower team from the, from like the bottom of the league or whatever. And I also came to a game against Porto, which had around 45,000 people, and the atmosphere was incredible. The stadium is called the Jose Alvalad, I think it is, or Alvalade Alvalad uh, Stadium. It's named after the founder of the club, and they did have a previous one, but then this one was built in time for the Euros in 2004. Portugal's three biggest clubs, the Tres Grandes, the big three, the, um, yeah, the three most successful teams by far. There isn't anyone that really comes close. All three of them, Porto, Benfica, and Sporting, all had completely new stadiums built, in time for the Euros. It really dragged these uh, clubs uh, and really modernised them into the sort of 21st century, I guess. I'm sure the old stadiums needed a bit of work or whatever, but I bet the atmosphere was better. That's always the way of modern stadiums, isn't it? But yeah, the uh, the tour starting in the museum, which is just around here. I'm going to show you some more clips of the stadium before we go in. And look behind me, as you can see, we have this incredible sculpture of a lion. You can see over there. It's called the mythical tiny door. Okay, so why we call this door mythical? This door is part of our club since 1956. And so a lot of uh, great managers and football players pass through that door. So you kept it from the old stadium? Yes. yes. You can see, you can tell it's a little bit different to everything this else. This yeah. door is part of our old stadium yep. and it transitioned to this one. All of the greatest players in the world pa pass through that door, like Cristiano, Figo, um, of course, uh, Messi, Maradona, and some other great players yeah. from England, of course from Liverpool, like Gerrard, like Suarez. 
So you're saying that is the biggest, the biggest loss for Manchester loss United. Loss for Manchester United in European competitions. And that was for Sporting. So you yeah. lost 4-1 at Old Trafford, came back here, beat them 5-0, yeah. and then went on to win the Cup Winners' to Cup. To win the Cup, it was the final with an Olympic goal, uh, scored by Moraes. It was the left defender that he had. So obviously there's three big teams, the Tres Grandes, yourselves, yeah. Benfica, Porto. Yes. Why do you think it is such a, why do you think it's three big teams and... Okay, because they say that because it was the team that won uh, more national championships. Yeah. But of course, at one time we had the four Grandes. Yeah. It was Porto, Benfica, Sporting and Boa Vista. And Boa Vista, yeah. But for me, but why, why do you think there's not more teams that have won the league here? Uh, we had more teams, but this is, this is another discussion that we have in Portugal. It's because um, in the early years of the Portuguese league, we, we had a national championship that was called the, the Championship of Portugal. Uh -huh, yeah. And we have some teams in Portugal that consider that championship not as a, ch as a, a league. Oh. But a cup. Right, okay. So we had over the years more teams that won that competition. Yeah. It was uh, Bolognese who won another three leagues. Boa Vista would have won some then? Porto, no, but Boa Vista didn't won in that oh, time. Oh, really? They won the main league. Uh, we had another team in Madeira. Uh, it was uh, Maritima that uh -huh. won Maritima, another league. Maritima, yeah, yeah. So Benfica don't consider that leagues as national championship. But it's not a good way of thinking because in the National League we had 100 years. Made, our league made 100 years last season. And they say that in that 100 years, years we had 83 national uh, uh, champions. Aberdeen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. But for the Europa League, yes. Yeah. They're not doing very well this season. They're towards the bottom of the league. Aberdeen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a former uh, manager that um, that uh, was there. It was uh, Paulo Sergio. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right here. This is our museum. This is yeah. uh, the, the first room. In, in Sporting Museum, this is called the Origins Room, where we talk about the first years of Sporting and how it all began for our club. Right here, you can see the photo with all the founders. And now, I have a question for you, that uh, can you point our, our main founder in this photo? So, who do you think is the main founder of Sporting? Is Jose Alvalad? Yes. Is, he, is that him? Yeah. His name, yes. Um, I'm going to say... This? Yeah. No. No. Incorrect. God, I'm not sure. There's too many. There's too many. It's, it's, it's close to this one. The Tash. Not this one. Middle. Not this one. Oh, somewhere around here. Yes. This man here? Not this one. This one? No. This one? This? Yeah. Yes. It's him. Right, okay, cool. It's, it's him. At the time, he had like 21 years old. Yeah. And he's one of the main founders of the club. The principal founder. He's the only one who's not in a suit. Yes. He just has a shirt on. He had the idea to create sport and with yeah. the help of his grandfather, his grandfather was Vishkan Balbola, he created this race club. Okay, right here we have the room with all the 23 national championships. Yes, is this the, so this is the Taca de Portugal, right? This yeah. Is the Portuguese Cup? This is the Portuguese league, yeah. Benfica says this is the Portugal, Port, part of the Portuguese Cup. Ah, okay. So, so that's not Taca de Portugal. And so these are the league yeah. trophies as well. So yeah, it says. I recognize these, yeah. You have here the explanation. This is the, those are the four championships of Portugal. Yeah. It's like in the, in the, because of the designation of, and this is the national championship. 19, okay. Four cha Portuguese championships. Yeah. 19 uh, championships. It's yep. like a difference in the, a difference in the name. Yeah. <laughs> They mean the same thing, really. Yeah, they are the same thing. And so these are all the other league successes that you've had down the years? 
we had a huge success in the, in the 40s and 50s. Yeah, I can see, yeah, so 41, 44, 47. 40s. 648, 49. 8, 9. And so are these replica trophies or are these the actual ones that the these team... These are the actual ones. These are the real trophies, wow, okay. Even through the 50s, wow, so yeah. one, two, three and four. Four in a row. Yeah. But from the 70s until the, the 19s, yeah. the 9th, we had a, a few, few wins. Yeah. Yes. So it was 82, and then it wasn't, you only had two until the most recent one. Yeah, and we had 99, 2000, and then 2001, 2002. Was this the season Cristiano was here? Well, Cristiano was here one season uh, after before. this. Oh, before, uh, okay. The after, after. After, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one that you're most proud of at the moment, I imagine? Yeah, at this moment, yes, yes. So this reminds me of, in England, we used to have an older trophy, oh, which yeah. is kind of like that one there. But then we have the Premier League now, which is a different yeah, trophy to the old one. Yeah, it's, a, it's different, yes. Yeah. And so this is the, the first league title that you won in 19 years? Yeah, in 19 years, yes. So these are the Portuguese Cups. So this is like the FA Cup? Like the FA Cup, FA Cup, yes. yeah. And so how many? 17, you say? 17? So, uh, 17. 17, yeah. He scored the penalty against, against England. Against England, yeah. Took his gloves off and uh, saved the penalties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that as a ticket from the first game here at the new stadium. Sporting against Manchester United. The game which uh, I think Rio Ferdinand John O'Shea were playing against Ronaldo and they told Sir Alex you have to sign this lad. And it was in a friendly to open the stadium here. Is that the real... Is that a replica? This is a replica. Yes. Yeah. So that is the Cup Winners' Cup that you won in 64? In 64. Against, again, MTK Budapest? MTK, yes. The, the, the big one, it's a replica. Wow, the look at that. One, it's a real one that was offered by West Ham. Ah, cool, amazing, yeah. I like the Cup Winners' Cup. It's not around anymore. Yeah, it's not around anymore. Yeah. Figo? That's Figo shirt. Match worn, is it? Sorry? He wore this in a game? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. The same guy shirt. Ah, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. This season 1994 1995. Yeah, amazing. Wow. You have the membership card of Figo there. So he was a fan of Lisbon? Yeah, uh, of uh, Sporting Club. Yeah. Cristiano had the honor to be the, the fan number 100. Really? Oh, amazing. 100,000. Here we go. So this is the fan. Is that Cristiano there? Yeah. yeah. It was uh, like uh, nine years old. Nine and eleven years old. So he ended up playing for the team that he supported yes, as a boy. Yeah. There we go, look. So even though he's from Madeira, he supported yes, Sporting, yeah? He played two years at the at one club from Madeira National. Yeah. But and so this is his his shirt that he wore? His mother was he's a sporting fan. Yeah. Yeah, you His father, he, he was a Benfica fan. Ah, oh, right. Oh, there's, there's a young Cristiano as well. Yes, there's a Cristiano right here too. Is no, that in the youth teams, maybe? Yes, yeah, youth teams. Is that Cristiano there? That, no, that uh, is uh, Quaresma. Oh, that's Quaresma. Oh, okay. Wow, well, yeah. And right here too. You can see him young Quaresma this time. Ah, oh, of course, yeah, I can recognize him there, yeah. So Eusebio, you were telling me, was supposed to come yeah, to Sporting. sporting. But Benfica stole him off you, yes. and he was playing for the sporting version of your club if, in Africa. If you if you search some uh, images of Eusebio in uh, sporting this sporting Lawrence March, yeah, you'll see. I'll show you the photos. <laughs> yeah, so he was playing for that club there, which is a sporting club in Africa, but then went on to win the European I'll Cup. I'll show you the photos. Yeah, of cool. and, uh, Because some people uh, thought they were came to Benfica only. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Portugal's biggest legend, and he was stolen off of you from Benfica. Oh yeah, in, in the stripes of Sporting, like you can see. This is this man right here. Benfica's biggest legend should have been playing for Sporting. I've really enjoyed the last couple of tours. Benfica and then Sporting Club de Portugal. Um, two brilliant tours, mainly for the fact um, for Diogo at Benfica and Joao here at uh, Sporting. Two fantastic tour guides who spoke brilliant English as much as I love to um, say obrigado and por favor and de nada and all that. Try, try and speak a tiny bit of Portuguese just to, um, I, I guess, 
fit in a little bit. Um, their English has been fantastic and their um, knowledge of the clubs has been brilliant. And especially, yeah, Joao here today, absolutely fantastic tour guide. He told me so much. I tried to capture as much of, like, a, a lot of it on here, so I would have shown you a lot of that. Um, but as, as ever with the tours, like, the tours are an hour, two hours long, so I'm not going to put it all in because I want you to come and do the tours yourself. But um, also, yeah, you, you don't want to watch a two hour tour, but I just want to show you, like, the snippets and the main parts. But, like, if you're in Portugal, you have to come and do this tour because um, yeah you'll learn so much about sporting like the fact that uh, Eusebio one of the biggest legends if not the biggest legend in Portuguese football the man who won two European Cups for Benfica played for an offshoot of sporting in Mozambique in Africa he was meant to come and play for sporting um, and Benfica essentially nicked him off them um, so how different the Portuguese football landscape could have been if uh, if he had played for Sporting, they could have had a couple of European Cups as opposed to Benfica. This uh, roundabout here, which has a lion on, actually has some of the um, like sporting uh, motivational words on the side. Enforso, dedicatio, dedication, and something else. I can't remember what Enforso means anymore. Um, but yeah, it's written all around the stadium. And Joao was telling me all about it as well. But yeah, just look at this. What a lovely sunny day we have here for this uh, this stadium tour. This will be my probably last sporting video for a while. I'm going to come back at some point eventually if the channel keeps doing well. So yeah, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you know. I went to two sporting games this week and of course the tour now as well. I've done the Benfica tour. I'm going to see Porto play next week. I'm going to see Braga play next week. I've got loads of other stuff planned as well. Not just games and tours, but other sort of ground hopping vids as well. So Celtic fans got a video that you're gonna like too but yeah just look at this I'm absolutely buzzing that I've been able to make so much sporting content what a cool club I really really enjoy sporting they've got some great fans who I met when I came here Joao the tour guide I really really like the stadium obviously modern like all the big stadiums are in Portugal really but um, yeah just an absolute honor to be here as it is with all new grounds I will leave some videos on screen please please click on one to carry on watching please also remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new thank you so much for being here with me for this one I've really really enjoyed filming it cheers and I'll see you in the next one oh adios and obrigado